Hi, I'm Peter from Copy Parts, and today we're looking at Fiorenzato's latest F64 Evo with a red speed burst. So this is the Fiorenzato F64 Evo. But when you are looking at the Fiorenzato range, there is quite a few models and variants, which makes it a little bit, I guess, confusing. So to break it down, this is the F64 Evo, which means it's got 64 mil red speed flat burrs. The F71 has 71 mil conical burrs, and the F83 has 83 mil flat burrs. Then within that, so there's three models, 64, 71, 83. Then within that, you've got the Pro, the XGI, and the XGI Pro. And what that is, is with the Pro feature, it means that this collar will be removable just by two clips. And what that means is you can remove the collar to either clean the grinders or change the burrs without having to then redial it back in, and it can be done basically in seconds. So it makes cleaning a lot easier. The XGI means it's got a scale. So it grinds by weight instead of by time. And the XGI Pro is obviously with a scale and with a clippable removable collar. So that's your models and variants. Going back to this grinder, the F64 Evo, it's obviously got the standard features. 1.5 kilo hopper, you've got an adjustable portafilter support that does hold your portafilter while grinding, and you've got a grinding chute that's so easy to pull out and just clean. Pull this out, give it a clean, slide it back in, lock it in. These are all cool features, but not necessarily very different to other grinders in the market. Where things get different is the screen and the menu. And this is really, in many ways, worlds ahead of some of the other grinders. When you're going through the menu, everything really is possible. You can obviously adjust the time. You can adjust the way the menu works. Do you wanna see one and two cups or do you wanna see one, two and three cups? Do you wanna see what the time is set at and you wanna see statistics? Let's have a look at how that works in practice. So at the moment we've got a single and a double. We could go into here, go into show triple shot. So sorry, so triple dose, come back out, and now you're seeing triple dose. If you wanted to see what the actual time that things are set at, you can go in and go show grinding times, and now it's showing 2.2 seconds for the single, four for the double, and 6.6 .6 for the triple. If you want to show the statistics of what's been ground for the day, you can turn that on, and now you've got the statistics here which is really convenient if to say it's your cafe and you want to keep a pulse on things, but you want to, might want to hide it if you don't want your bristles knowing how the day's going. Either or, the option is yours. So just bringing that back out, let's just not show the grinding times, not show the statistics, and not show the triple dose, we're back in. If you wanted to adjust the time of the single or double quite quickly, just click here. You can adjust the single or the double by increments of 0.01 of a second. So in this case, 2.2 seconds and four seconds. If you wanted to go 2.3, just go 2.3, lock it in, and now that is grinding 2.3. You've also got the ability to have manual grind on or off. So at the yeah. moment, you can, yeah. while you tap that, it grinds. But you could actually stop that by going manual grinding off, and now you don't have that function. That is a cool function to have if you just wanted to top up so I will normally leave that on, but once again, it's completely up to you. Going back into the menu, another cool thing is you can decide how you want to activate the single and double. So you can activate it by either pressing the button or you can press single and double and when this activates, it's whatever you've last pressed. Or you can do it by pressing once here for single and twice here with your portafilter for double. And all that is available here by setting the grind mode. So you've got standard, direct, automatic, and pre-selection. Obviously, within the menu too, if you scroll down, it's got all the standard things like adjusting your brightness, display theme, like light or dark, screen saver, languages, etc. You get the drift. So it really is, from a screen perspective, I think one of the best grinders on the market. And bang for buck, considering they come with red speed, amazing ability to change it all up from the screen, it really is a cool grinder. Adjusting the grind, you just press this button down, then you move it counterclockwise for fine, clockwise for coarser, dial it in like you would any other grinder. Another cool thing is Fiorenzato have worked with Puck Press to build the M4. So it's a separate product to the Fiorenzato grinder, but now you've got the Puck 
which fits perfectly under. And effectively, you can grind and then go straight in and tamp electronically. And now this grinder is the F64 Evo, but if you had, for example, the XGI, you grind by weight and then you tamp and go straight into your machine. So from a workflow perspective and an automation perspective, they really have thought about it and made it really easy and it just fits perfectly. It really is cool when you get two manufacturers work together to make complementary products, especially when you get an improvement in workflow. I really like it. And that really is a quick look into this F64 Evo. We've also done a video on the F71 and the F83. So we did a video on each model. We did a video on the range if you want to see how the three models compare. And we did a separate video on the Pro feature and the XGI, the grind by weight grinder. So depending on what you wanted to watch, you can dive into those videos and really get a feel for the Furanzato range. But let me know in the comments below, do you have any questions on this grinder? Is this a grinder that you have, that you're looking at, or do you just have a different grinder altogether? Let me know. And like always, if this video has brought you value, please hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Thank you and see you on the next video.